Hi guys, I'm doing a vlog about what I've been up to this week and I'll sit down and just, you know, show, show you around a little bit to my workbench and as you can see there are some uh, collage papers there, some paper scraps and I've been making a collage and I um, illustrated a tonka today. Um, I'm working on an online course, Writing and Illustrating Tonka. And Tonka are um, short poems like haiku, it's Japanese, but then slightly different. And they are terrific for um, making stories with in combination with illustrations. So um, this is the style I'm doing now, but I'm going to show more styles. And this is what I've been working on today for the course. Um, it's an example and been composing this set of paints for it and it's open now because I'm leaving it to dry because as you can see there is quite a lot of water in there so it needs to dry and what I um, before I show you the collages I made I want to uh, talk to you about the reason why I don't do many co much collage, um, not even in my art journal. I sometimes try, um, but I don't think I can do it as well as other things. And I maybe I don't like it as much, or maybe I haven't been trained in it as much. I don't know. Anyway, um, I do realize that um, I love collage, by the way, by others. Um, and um, I've been promising myself a lot that I was going to make beautiful collage and then I didn't <laughs> for some reason. So I ran into this book by Andrea uh, Dequino and uh, Once Upon a Piece of Paper and I love Andrea Dequino. I think she's a really, really good collage, illustrated collage artist. And um, I'm not going to show you the whole book, but um, there is, you know, this book with... Um, her theory in it and a how-to and it's actually really good to read it's um it's it's not a really big book I mean you can read it in well an hour or so but um, it's really inspiring and she talks you through her process and then there is this um, block of paper that you can use to make your own collage so I bought this and I um, started with it but it's very basic and um, also her way of working in this book is um, very random and a little too random for my liking I think because I got stuck in it and then I ran into Sara Fanelli don't know if you know her Sara Fanelli um, she's uh, an illustrator uses collage for it as well and that really got me going this week so um, that's what I um, did and um, this first page I, I used this um, I found this book a couple of months ago and um, it's small it's postcard size a little bigger than postcard size but um, I kind of like it um, there is black and white paper in it and these vellum sheets you know as to you know as if to protect the pages um, so this is, um, uh, well, not a reproduction or a copy, but let's say my own version of A Bird by Sarah Fanelli. And um, I really like this uh, because it's sort of a fantasy figure and I like the integration of text, um, especially because right now I am working with poetry and images. So then I did my own and um, this is a really weird one. <laughs> Um, well, I, I'm not going to explain anything about it because there is nothing to explain. Um, I ran into one of Sara Fanelli's creatures, collage creatures, and I thought, hey, I can do that too. But, you know, with me, weird things come out. So people have already been guessing about its meaning. But the only true meaning is that it was just for practice. And you can, you know create any story about it that you like. I think the story that I ended up liking was that um, maybe the soldier stands for stupid violence, hence the, um, <laughs> the thing there, um, and he is sweating his ugliness on, you know, the sanctity of life. Um, 
maybe something like that. But you know what? If I were in an ex in an art exhibit, that's the story I would attach to it. But in all reality, <laughs> there was no story attached to it at all. Then we move on. There was this creature by Sara Finelli that um, a Medusa creature, I think, if I remember correctly. So um, I tried to do something with that, and with me, it became a little devil who wanted to play ball. So this is magazine pieces and some painted paper, and um, I made these lines with color pencil. Then there is this um, spread that I think is more art journal style than illustration style, although I think it could also be an illustration. And um, this really is my own story because um, I was so busy and doing so much, you know, and time flew by so fast and my uh, kids are growing up so fast and I was sort of in this time crisis, so that's what this page is about. And I kind of like it, you know, the eye that's watching the clock and then having no arms because you're helpless in stopping time. So I kind of like that. And then there is the pick me page, you know, um, an apple asking a pair to please pick her. And this, ontvangen, it means receive. So receive me, pick me. No idea. You know, there is no story behind this. Um, it just... There, I, I had this apple <laughs> and I ran into a pear and I thought, hey, <laughs> you know what, <laughs> let's do that. Oh, and uh, as you can see, I used a sewing machine for uh, many of these pages, you know, just as an experiment. I kind of like it. And I, I like um, having these loose threads here. Then there was this really experimentation page where I had this sort of tissue paper I had once painted, which is really thin. And I, um, I sewed it onto um, this type of paper, but I did that um, by sewing down a rope, a little piece of, well, string. It's like hemp string. And I kind of like it, you know. There is no real story, although um, to me it represents ripples. Like you drop something in the water and then there is ripples. Like everything has an effect. Then there was this really, I like this page very much. Um... The reason is that this, well, I, I'll call it a werewolf. Um, I didn't actually draw it. It was a stain on a sheet of paper um, that I made by um, rubbing off my um, ink brush. And it had this shape. And then all of a sudden, with certain shadows, I saw a werewolf in it. And the only thing I did was give a little bit of highlights here and there and an eye. And I glued on, you know, a fang. Um, you know, but that's my, my, my werewolf, and I gave it sort of a dark page to sit on with, you know, the moon behind bars, you know, so it's like, um, so it's like the werewolf's been trapped in a cage or something, and, um, this is, um, a stamp that I cut, and, um, this paper is Chinese paper for... Um, wishing somebody or yourself rich, uh, riches, if I remember correctly. And then there is a page that I really, really like. Um, one element, this face, is based on um, something I saw in Sarah Finelli's work, but the rest of the page is mine. Um, and it all started when I found this image of a dog in a magazine. So, um... I ended up sticking two birds on a piece of paper and, you know, a shrub here and um, put the birds on a branch and I said, well, you must be the first bird who owns a dog. You know, there is no personal story in it, but I kind of like that there is a story in it. And I like the abstract face by, well, that Sarah Finelli um, that I saw in her work and I, I like how it works here. Then there is a, well, let's say a page period. Um, I don't know what happened here. This is um, from a Chinese calendar. It's on tissue paper and it's got my birthday on it, um, 2007. And for some reason that blocked me to do anything else on it. So I may leave it the way it is. I experimented with um, 
uh, sewing a couple of um, elements in a row and um, well for now I think this is what it is but you know it may change over time then there is this little robin and um, I collaged it on um, a little piece of paper with my um, writing test of the pilot parallel pen and um, then I glued on pieces of um, hand painted paper and from a color book and um, well the birds got you know different elements from a color book as well and I drew in a tree with uh, China with um, India ink and there is another page I really like. This is, um, again, the faces are based on Sarah Finelli and I think the umbrella as well. I think I saw that in her work and um, it all started out with this typing machine. And um, I had no idea what to do with it, but um, then I found this painted paper that I painted a little while ago with inks and, you know, I thought would be nice would be a nice dress and you know one thing led to the other I remembered the faces again and um, I turned it into a page so it says buongiorno good day and moving on to the last page this is um, a page I just did a couple of I, um, I finished it just before I started filming and it has a Kate Bush line in it. it says let me sleep let me sleep and dream of sheep it has everything to do with the fact that I went to bed very late last night because um, I contracted a virus on my uh, computer through Facebook and um, it took me quite a few hours to get it off my computer so I am incredibly tired and I'm totally lacking inspiration today so I am making things but I am not feeling very um, very fired up and passionate about it so okay so I'm gonna you know the journey continues I'm beginning to like collage more and more and some of the papers that I'm using I wanted to show you I really prefer my own paper um, I have the Andrea Dequino um, block of paper here in the back of the book um, I haven't used it yet I may use it but so far I haven't and I like making my own paper and I, I make it in various different ways like this little piece of green paper it was um, screen was um, jelly printed. Um, this is just you know a scrap piece of paper where I jotted down some notes and tried out the, par the pilot parallel pen. This is one of my early um, attempts to marble on paper. Um, this is a jelly print that I did after um, with the use of um, a hand cut stencil. And this one as well and this one I think is my favorite paper uh, because this uh, little creature is actually the cuddly toy of my youngest daughter and um, one day when she was really really young she drew this little cuddly toy it's called blue bees because it's blue and what I did is I copied the drawing and I reproduced it in many different sizes and I cut a few stamps of it in different sizes. So this is um, a, a pattern that I will use in my work a lot. If you look carefully, you can see it coming back over and over again. When I do use collage, this is often in it. So that's what I wanted to show you that, you know, it's, it's okay to use prefabricated paper but the best thing of all is to bring your own elements into it or at least that's that's how I feel so well so that's it for now I'm going to um, put a couple of handy links in my blog post for, um, if you're interested and um, some good photos of my uh, collage page, uh, pages as well so thank you very much for watching and um, see you again in the next video bye